But the one thing that we can't hide from any of us, any of us, on any party, including the Liberals or the Independent, we have a crisis in long-term care again. We've had 5,000 people of our moms, our dads, our aunts or uncles, our brothers and sisters have died in long-term care. You may or may not know, my colleagues across me, that today we know in long-term care somewhere between 11 and 20 of our loved ones are going to die today in long-term care. That's been what's been going on over the last few weeks. And to say that you're going to put two hours from your party, two hours to talk about that crisis. I don't know about you guys. I don't know you. You know, I don't know. I know. I guess I know Robin a little bit. But I think you all have parents. I think you all have grandparents. I think you all have brothers and sisters. I think you all have aunts and uncles. That's who's dying in these facilities. And that's how much you care. They say two hours. But I want to be clear in this committee. And I'm going to look at you guys over there. The staff in long-term care facilities, whether they're in, re in long-term care, retirement homes, they love their clients or their patients. They're like family. This isn't about staff. It's about not having enough staff, not having enough resources, not having enough training. They're the type of things that we can talk about in estimates. Are we allocating the right money into the right places instead of into the pockets of shareholders? These are all things that I think we could have if we can get 15 hours. So my request, my motion, you guys can huddle up again. I have no problem with that. You know, I'm a, I'm a big football fan. Huddle up and talk about it. But if you're going to stay on two hours, I believe everybody outside this committee room is going to be very upset with each and every one of you, including in your own writings. Because they know, they know that two hours is disgraceful. Disgraceful.